Nowadays, many of us have a small computer in our pockets, which is a, a smartphone. And the reason why we have access to this uh, wonderful uh, device is because technology people have been able to encode information on smaller and smaller scales. Uh, this is something that happened in the past and it's going on for years and there is no reason to believe that it will stop soon. My name is Antonia Thien and I lead the Quantum Information Theory Group at ICFO. We want to understand what are the limitations and possibilities that quantum physics offers for information devices. Information devices become smaller and smaller and this only happens because we are able to put information on smaller and smaller scales. So at some point we reach, actually soon, uh, a scale where we'll meet quantum physics. So it is very well known that when you go to the microscopic scale, to the atomic scale, then uh, you have to uh, use quantum physics to describe uh, nature. It has been proven that when information devices reach the quantum world, uh, many new things happen. If I want to send a message to someone else, what I do, I put this message on a quantum particle, I send this quantum particle to this other person, and if someone tries to read this message, uh, this person will make a measurement and will perturb the state of this, of this quantum particle. My friend uh, will uh, notice this change and will abort the insecure communication. In fact, if you want to secure your communication using quantum cryptography, you can already do it. Uh, the problem that the, this uh, implementation of quantum cryptography have is that on the one hand there is a theoretical idea which is very nice and on the other hand there are the implementations and there are many steps that go from the theoretical idea to the implementations and in these steps uh, there are some tricks that uh, experimentalists have to do and uh, these tricks uh, create some security problems and in fact some years ago there were some hacking attacks that uh, um, the hackers, what they did, they bought the commercial products and they hacked the commercial products. Of course, that was a problem for the field and what we found is a solution to this. So we've uh, proposed a different type of quantum cryptography which is now based on the correlations between quantum particles in a quantum property that is called entanglement. So this is a property between two particles that are correlated in a very weird manner. And it's, we exploited these correlations to create some protocols that are much more robust against hacking attacks quantum physics will dramatically modify the way we understand information. The main reason why I decided to become a scientist is because of the intellectual challenges that research offers every day. So in my group, what we have to do, we have to solve problems, we have to discuss about solutions to the problems, then we have to improve the previous solution, we have to talk to some other people, then we find new problems, we find new ideas that did, we didn't anticipate in the past, and all this process is the main reason and the things I was looking for when deciding to become a scientist.